Teachers, please ask your students to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, please join us for a moment of silence. These are announcements for Friday, November 11th. Seniors, you may pre-order your 2017 senior shirt in the bookstore with Mrs. Leach or with Mrs. Malak in room 255. We will no longer be taking 2017 senior shirt orders in the cafeteria. Again, see Mrs. Malak in room 255 or place your order in the bookstore. We will be taking orders till Friday, November 18th. The cost, is, the cost for the shirt is $15. Uh, the Student Counselor is once again sponsoring the annual Thanksgiving food drive through November 22nd. All food items and money donated will be given to Hunger Inc., a local food pantry. We are accepting any canned or, or box food items as well as cash donations. We will count each dollar. Do you need to help? Do you need help filling out the FAFSA? All seniors need to fill out and complete the FAFSA to help with continuing your education. Even if you don't think that you will need it, you have three different dates here locally that is offering help with the FAFSA. One, the College Goals Sunday is this Sunday, November 13th, 2016 at 2 p.m. There will be eight locations in the Indianapolis area for this FAFSA event, get free help with filling your FAFSA. For more information, visit collegegoalsunday.org. Central Nine Career Center is hosting a FAFSA night on Monday, November 14th from 3.30 to 7.30 p.m. Students and parents are welcome to come anytime during those four hours. Financial aid representatives from Ivy Tech and Vincennes will be available to assist that evening as well. Uh, the SHS will be hosting a FAFSA night here at Southport on Wednesday, November 16th from 2 to 7 p.m. with financial aid representative from IUPUI. We will also have interpreters for Spanish, Burmese, and Chin speaking families. Central Nine will be hosting an open house on December 1st from 6.30 to 8 p.m. for all students and their families to check out all of the amazing programs at C9. The Grief Awareness Day is November, November 17th. Join us by wearing blue and help support those who have lost one loved ones. Students and staff may also fill out, fill out a butterfly a, of hope in the cafeteria with the school counselor. All butterflies will be displayed in the main hallway. Please participate to show your support to all of the Griffin students around us. The 2017 Kiwanis Aid Week and Scholarship application has been posted in the guidance office. It can be found featured on the guidance counter. SHS will nominate one student for consideration. Student must be able to demonstrate a history of overcoming significant adversity, either environmental, emotional, mental, or physical. Senior student must plan to attend a full-time accredited college, university, or vocational school. Deadline to submit application to the guidance office is November 18th. Uh, the Club Z Annual Achievement Award has been posted on the scholarship wall. If you have shown leadership in the classroom, overcome obstacles, improved in behavior or academics in the classroom since the beginning of the school year, or you have shown stronger character in the classroom, please apply for the Club Z Achievement Award by November 18th. If you have already enrolled to travel with Ms. Powell and Mr. McNeely to Costa Rica in June, 
Plan to attend a parent-student meeting on Tuesday, November 15th at 6 in room 205. If you cannot attend, please see Mrs. Powell. And now for your Connell Sports. Tonight in sports, we have boys varsity basketball random white scrimmage home at 530. Have a great day at Southport, and as always, go cards. The sign of the day is black. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks for being here. Let's go ahead and get started. Well, this is a, uh, Cardinal fans, this is a really big day for the Southport Girls Basketball Program. Um, we're here today to, uh, to honor and celebrate with uh, two of our seniors, Emma DeHart and Jay Williams. Um, today they're, they're each signing their national letter of intent to play uh, basketball collegiately. So uh, first of all, congratulations girl on your, girls on your uh, accomplishments and your achievements and uh, earning earning the opportunity to be college athletes. Really happy that everybody could be here. Um, uh, teammates, classmates, um, teachers, school administrators, um, past teammates, past coaches, uh, everybody that's here today. It's, um, it's great that we could have a turnout like this. And, uh, and I'll celebrate together um, with these two wonderful young women. Um, first, quick word about, uh, about Emma. Um, <laughs> Emma, is, um, Emma has really been the, the rock of the Southport girls basketball program, now in her fourth year. She's really been, in many ways, the, uh, the face of the program here, a, uh, a four-year starter and, um, and and I'll tell you, I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever been around um, a high school athlete that is as universally liked by your teammates, as, <laughs> as universally respected by your teammates, and really who, um, who, gets, who gets the most out of her teammates and really, um, really inspires and pushes her teammates to be the best they can be. Uh, to do all of those things and to do them as effectively as, uh, as Emma has, really goes to show uh, why this isn't just a special day for Emma, it definitely is, but it's also a special day for all of us here at Southport, and, um, and, it's, and it's a big day for uh, USI and the Screaming Eagles that they're gonna get somebody of uh, not only such high basketball ability, but, uh, but such a wonderful person. So uh, really excited for Emma, and uh, Emma, before I talk anymore, why don't you go ahead and take it away? Jay, okay, obviously we're very lucky here, very fortunate to have two people here that we're celebrating. And Jay, you know, if I, if I could highlight one thing that really, really impresses me about Jay and really um, grabs my attention every day in the gym and in the halls here is the improvement that Jay has shown in her time at Southport. And I don't just mean as a basketball player, I mean personal growth, um, building her skills, and really getting to the point now where she is, um, she's, she's followed this dream tenaciously to be a college basketball player. Um, the first time I met Jay, I said, tell me about yourself. And she said, without hesitating, she said to me, I love basketball, I love the game. She's on the court and when she's around her teammates, that really shows. It really shows that Jay um, gets after it and wants to get better. I'll tell you what, she is not done yet. The, uh, the folks at IPFW, um, 
they are really getting somebody who's not only excellent student athlete, but somebody who continues to improve. She's going to be a terror in their conference. I feel bad for their opponents. Mrs. Kershus, can you please call the main office, please? Without Mrs. further ado, Jay. Thank you.